Hey guys, Tony here from Tony Tech Bites, and it's summer, so it means that outside is sweltering, but not necessarily in here because I'm downstairs. But anyways, don't let that distract you from the fact that your laptop is most likely extremely hot, and I bet it also sounds like a jet engine. So here are a couple remedies to fix those issues. So the first solution I would suggest is to clear all your tabs in Google Chrome or uh, whatever web browser you're using. So if you have 10 tabs open, it definitely takes a toll on the RAM of the laptop and you want to free up that RAM so you can do other tasks such as gaming or just have the laptop run smoother overall. So just delete a couple tabs that you're not using. I would also recommend clearing the browser history since that will also decrease RAM utilization and allow for your laptop to be a snappier machine. So for the second part of this video, I would recommend opening up the laptop and doing a multitude of things. So the first one would be to basically just open up your laptop. It's different for every laptop. For this one in particular, it has about 10 screws. For the Dell G7, for example, it has one screw. Pretty straightforward to get into a laptop. Usually it's just a couple screws. And once you're in, you just pop off the back part and uh, you're in. So after opening up your laptop, the first thing I would recommend is to clean out the dust. So I would get a paper towel or a toothbrush and basically just dust off the laptop and remove all dust from the vents. This will basically allow for better airflow since the dust won't hinder the fans. This should also decrease your fan speed and fan noise since they don't have to work that hard uh, and dust won't be blocking the airways. Another thing I would recommend is to install an SSD. So if your laptop can support a 2.5 inch SSD or an M.2 SSD, I would recommend installing one. But once you have one in there, SSDs are usually a lot faster than hard drives since they don't have mechanical moving parts. They make your boot times faster so you can load win into Windows a lot quicker. And you can also launch applications much quicker as well since they are significantly faster than hard drives. One thing to keep in mind is that solid state drives are a little bit more expensive than hard drives, but they have gone down in price over the past couple years. Another thing I would do is to install thermal pads on the VRMs and RAM sticks. And this will basically allow the heat from the RAM and other components to transfer more efficiently. If there are already thermal pads, then I would recommend just taking them out and installing new ones. You don't really have to, and you won't see a humongous difference from doing this. It does help because it'll dissipate heat faster. The last thing I would try to do is to install new thermal compound on the processor. So if you don't know what thermal compound is, um, in this case I'm using PACE. So Thermal paste is a thermally conductive, goopy substance that basically transfers heat from a processor onto a piece of metal, which is often referred to as a heat sink. This is kind of like the cream filling of an Oreo, where it transfers the heat from the bottom layer, which is the processor, onto the top layer, which is the heat sink. Generally, manufacturers ship their laptops with really low quality paste. They don't really have the time and money to spend on high quality paste. So once you're in the laptop, locate the cooling mechanism, which is usually in the form of a couple heat pipes. And what you, what you want to do is unscrew that and take it off. And you should also keep some isopropyl alcohol and some paper towels or a coffee filter. So when you take out the heat sink, you can wipe it off with isopropyl alcohol. And I would recommend at least 91%. This 91% is stronger than other alcohols and also wipes off the thermal paste easier. But it does have a strange odor, so I would recommend not sniffing it. <laughs> So once you wipe off the old paste from the heatsink as well as on top of the processor, you should apply a new layer of thermal paste. And in this case, I'm using Thermal Grizzly's Cryonaut, which is a high quality thermal paste that has a conductivity of 12.5 watts per meter Kelvin. You could also use other thermal pastes such as Arctix MX4, which is also a pretty good thermal paste that I've been using prior to this. You should just apply a pea-sized amount or, or a line on the processor and this should... Pr and this and it should spread out pretty evenly once you put on the heatsink. I also did a significance test to see if there really was a mean difference in temperatures of laptop processors after applying a new layer of thermal paste. And I have found that in general, there is a mean decrease in temperatures of laptop processors. And I got a p-value of zero with the significance level of 0.05. So that concludes that there is statistically significant evidence that laptops generally cooler by a little bit when you apply a new layer of thermal paste. However, this won't necessarily mean that your laptop's gonna be insanely quicker or will it be insanely cooler because it'll only decrease the temperatures by a couple degrees Celsius and it'll probably increase speeds by about 100 megahertz. So it's not a huge difference, but it does at least help a little bit. Generally, these tips will lower temperatures. They'll make your laptop faster 
and also make your laptop a little bit quieter since they don't since the fans don't have to work that hard to cool the processor and I hope they help you out for this summer. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe because it motivates me to make more content like this.